Hello, everyone, and welcome to our next lecture on chemical composition of striated muscles. So, in this topic, we are going to discuss what components are present in the striated muscles. So, we know that each muscle consists of 75% water, 20% proteins, and 5% organic and inorganic substances. But in this 5%, the inorganic materials like glycogen and its derivatives are present, and many organic substances like free amino acids and phosphagens, etc. These are present. Out of these, the phosphagens, they play important role in muscle contraction. So that we will discuss in uh, the chemical changes during muscle contraction. So there is the role of phosphagens. But here, only you have to consider that uh, muscle consists of 75% water, 20% proteins, and 5% organic and inorganic substances. OK. So the proteins which are present in muscle, 20% uh, proteins, out of this 20% proteins, the proteins are of three categories or you can say three types of proteins are found in muscle. So, or you can say muscle proteins can be classified in these three headings, broad headings. Number one is stroma protein. So what are these stroma proteins? So these are about one fifth of the total proteins found in muscle. They can be identified with the presence of collagen and elastic elements which bind the muscle fiber together and they can transmit the tension to the tendons at the time of stretching or you can say contraction. Okay, so that are stroma proteins. Then second type of muscle protein that are ordinary cellular proteins which are present in the cell or you can say cytoplasm. They also contribute one fifth of the total muscle protein and most important of them are the enzymatic proteins which are present in sarcoplasm and they catalyze various chemical reactions of the muscle cells. And they supply the energy to the contractile system, just like microtubules or any such type of systems present in the muscle cells. Okay. Then third type of muscle proteins, they are specialized contractile proteins. Okay, these are important. Specialized contractile proteins. So each myofibril also contains specialized contractile proteins called actin and myosin. Okay, so these are the specialized contractile proteins, actin and myosin. <clears throat> also, troponin is present, which have important role in muscle contraction. Among these three proteins of the myofibril, Myosin, which forms the thick filament, it is most abundant. Okay. These proteins, they contribute in fibrillar structure of the muscle. So in which the thick filament that we have already discussed in uh, the uh, electron microscopic structure of uh, striated muscle when we have uh, described that. In that case, we have said that there are thick filaments and there are thin filaments. So that thick filaments are made up of myosin, while the thin filaments are made up of actin, troponin, and tropomyosin. Some other proteins are also there, troponin and tropomyosin. So these type of various proteins, they have important role in uh, the muscle contraction. One thin filament, remember, one thin filament probably contains 300 to 400 actin molecules, which are globular, okay? And about 50 tropomyosin molecules and 50 troponin molecules. That means in this diagram, if you look to this uh, chain, this one, this is the thin filament and this one is the thick filament, okay? The thick filament that is made up of myosin, as we have said here, it is made up of myosin. And the thin filament is made up of these three components, actin, troponin, and tropomyosin. So in which the chain-like, globular chain-like structure, these are two chains of, uh, you can say, 
fibrillar actin okay fibrous actin so this is the f actin okay so it is label here actin along with this actin here is troponin and here this one thread like this is tropomyosin so to form this thin filament approximately 300 to 400 such globular molecules of actin are involved and 50 such troponin molecules are involved and approximately 50 such fibrous tropomyosin molecules are also involved actin and myosin are absolutely essential for contraction it is said that tropomyosin play an important role in sensitizing the contractile proteins that means the actin and myosin to the calcium ions that means at the time of contraction the uh, sensitivity to the calcium ions is important and this sensitivity to the calcium ions is essential for switching the muscle contraction on and off that means whether the muscle contracts or whether the muscle will not contract that depends upon the sensitivity of such thin filament to the calcium ion and that sensitivity is regulated by tropomyosin okay then let us discuss one by one each protein firstly we will discuss about the myosin which is abundantly present in the uh, muscle so out of the muscle proteins myosin is abundant this myosin is globulin in nature and it has a tadpole shaped structure just like a tadpole it has tadpole shaped structure with with approximate length of 1520 or plus minus 260 amstrom so approximately it may have 1500 to 1600 amstrom uh, you can say length and a very high molecular weight of about 500000 that means approximately 5 lakh molecular weight each myosin molecule in the diagram you can see it is made up of two parts one head segment and one is tail fragment so it consists of two fragments or two parts head part and tail part if suppose uh, here consider this one is a myosin single myosin if we separate one of this myosin molecule so it will contain this head and remaining fibrillar part that is tail so it has two fragments head and tail the head fragment is also called heavy miromyosin that means this part may be called as hmm heavy miromyosin and the tail fragment may be called lmm light miromyosin okay so this one head head is said to be this head is said to be heavy miromyosin and the remaining part tail is said to be light miromyosin okay the head is globular in shape you can see in the diagram it is globular in shape and it is made up of two identical part the left part and right part okay so if we uh, symmetrically divide the head it can be divided into two part one left part and one right part so it has two identical parts <coughs> and these two identical parts are chemically different and they have two different active sites okay that are also shown in the diagram one site which is called uh, atpas site here you can see it is marked by yellow dot this one this is atpas site and the second one which is marked by green dot that is actin binding site so it has two chemically different sites one site for binding with actin molecule and other site for hydrolysis of atp which is called atpas site this heavy miromyosin is approximately about 150 to 250 amstrom in length and 40 amstrom in diameter the approximate length of this head is approximately 250 to uh, 150 to 250 amstrom and diameter is 40 amstrom and having the molecular weight of approximately 3 lakh 50000 it consists of two polypeptide chains of much longer lengths then regarding the tail region of myosin so tail as we have already said it is called as light miromyosin and tail is approximately 1500 amstrom long and 50 to 20 amstrom in diameter with a molecular weight of 1 lakh 50000 this tail consist of two poly polypeptide chains which are bounded that is shown in the diagram just like the coils 
coils of two alpha helical chains so they are wounded around each other to form a alpha helix okay <clears throat> such many myosin molecules they unite together to form the myosin filament that is shown in the lower diagram myosin filament it has many head projecting away from the uh, main molecules so here we can see this is the myosin filament which is formed by the combination of many such myosin molecules and these are these heads are projecting in, in all directions not in any one direction they are projected throughout in 360 angle in all directions okay so this is regarding the myosin then second important protein that is actin no actin is the major constituents of thin filament just like the myosin is a important constituent of thick filament likewise thin filament has a major contribution of actin type of proteins the thinner actin molecules they are composed of three parts or you can say thin filament thin filament it consists of three parts or it is a combination of three part actin troponin and tropomyosin okay <clears throat> if we put this filament in low ionic concentration the actin chain it dissociates into g actin molecules that are shown in the diagram so under low concentration this fiber they split into such single molecules g actin molecules these are globular actin molecules and <clears throat> this as the ionic strength of the solution can be when, when we increase the ionic strength of the solution these g actin molecules they unite together end to end and form such long f actin that means fibrous actin g actin may seem you can simply remember it as globular actin which are monomer and this f actin that is fibrous actin which is a polymer okay both are the same but this is only the sing uh, you can say monomer form and this one is the polymer form when you find g actin when the ionic concentration in the cytoplasm is less and when you form the f actin when ionic concentration in the sarcoplasm is more so as the ionic concentration increases they aggregate to form the f actin hmm. okay this f actin under electron microscope it looks like the consisting of two strings of beads that means just like it is wounded around each other that is shown in the diagram here under the electron microscope it appears like these two strings which are wounded helically around each other like a rope just like in the rope okay this may be concluded that the f actin is a double stranded helix of actin monomers and which is uh, this uh, actin filament it is found associated with tropomyosin and troponin uh, units so these are this is a tropomyosin and these are the troponin units okay all this f actin along with tropomyosin and troponin they combinedly form such thin filament they assemble to form thin filament so this is regarding actin now let us discuss about this tropomyosin and troponin also so firstly the tropomyosin this one tropomyosin it is also a two stranded alpha helical rod like structure located in the groove you can see it is located in the groove between two helical strands of actin so in between these two helical strands here will be the groove and in between this groove this actin is fixed just look at this so it is present in the grooves of this alpha helical uh, you can say actin troponin complex is also attached to tropomyosin here you can see here this is tropomyosin and this is the troponin so troponin is attached to tropomyosin at the intervals of about 38.5 nanometer or you can say 385 angstrom so this is one troponin this is another troponin and these two troponins they are linked to this tropomyosin at a distance of 38.5 nanometer or you can say 385 angstrom okay now tropomyosin important one again another important protein is troponin so troponin is a complex of three peptide chains which are designated as tpc here you can see tpc then second tpi and third one tpt now what is this tpc tpc means 
calcium binding sub unit of troponin second one tpi means inhibitory sub unit of troponin and third one is tpt that means tropomyosin binding site so from this sub unit it is binded to tropomyosin this one is inhibitory and this one is calcium binding sub unit okay so you can say troponin single molecule troponin it is formed by three sub units tpc tpi and tpt understood now troponin is an important control proteins which prevent the interaction between actin and myosin cross bridges unless if it is combined with calcium that means if this tpc that is calcium binding sub unit unless the calcium binding sub unit combines with calcium ions this molecule will not allow the cross linking between actin and myosin molecules so it will not allow the cross bridge formation so this is sensitive to calcium ions tpt the lower one it binds the troponin with tropomyosin and <clears throat> restores the calcium ions sensitivity thus regulate the actin activity depending on the calcium concentration okay the calcium binding proteins tpc has molecular weight of 18000 and highly soluble in water each tpc combines with two calcium ions and the third one tpi that is inhibitory protein or inhibitory subunit has the binding site for actin but it inhibits the atp hydrolysis activity by the actin by binding uh, by its binding effect with actin so the tropomyosin binding uh, subunit binds to tropomyosin and it has also an ability to bind with tpc and tpi okay so this three subunits they combinedly makes the troponin and such three components that means actin f actin tropomyosin and troponin these three combinedly forms such assembled thin filament okay understood however there are some references also regarding alpha actin okay so alpha actin is found also found in myofibril proteins and has a molecular weight of 18000 and has a amino acid composition different from that of the actin it has the ability to increase the actomyosin complex atpase activity <coughs> actomyosin complex atpase activity and it enhances the tension of actomyosin thread approximately at 37 degree centigrade it binds with f actin uh, at the z line but the lower temperature that means uh, minus temperature uh, it binds with g actin monomers of the uh, strand okay so but they have very least role but still they are contributed to uh, the uh, formation of thin filament so this is regarding various proteins present in the striated muscle so this is about chemical composition of striated muscle okay